G'day cunts, a another day, another drama. Today I want to talk to you guys about the Craig Foster affair. Basically this is where Craig Foster has received a, a bit of criticism from his ex-soccer routine mate Robbie Slater. Now Robbie tweeted out on the weekend because he was a little bit upset about uh, the criticism which Craig Foster made towards Robbie Slater's ex-teammate and new Melbourne victory coach, uh, Jim McGilton. I think I've got his name right. It's a bit hard to say, but anyway. Uh, the new victory coach is an ex-teammate of Robbie Slater's and basically Craig Foster criticised him based on the fact that he was from Northern Ireland and he basically was saying that there had been too much of the British influence in the past on the Australian game of soccer and this is harking back to that old era and that soccer should be moving in a different direction. As I said, Robbie took offence to it. He tweeted. Uh, in his tweet, he called Craig Foster a racist. And I've got to say, I'm on Robbie Slater's side on this one because at the end of the day, if your criticism is based around where someone's from and not their abilities and not their record, then... I think that can pretty much be called racist. I don't know what else that actually is. So I'm with Robbie on this one. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave some comments below. It'd be great. Share the video with your friends. Be even better. Let's get a bit of discussion happening. Personally, my humble opinion is Craig Foster has been a little bit of a windbag and has been spurting a lot of opinions about different coaches over the years. Uh, at the end of the day, we've all got our opinions and we're all armchair coaches when we watch the game. He is a professional analysis. He is representing the game and supposedly explaining the game to people and I don't think he's doing such a great job because he overcomplicates it and, as I said, far too much criticism, far too much negativity about the game and always criticising coaches at the end of the game. At the end of the game and at the end of the day, he's never coached a team. So, uh, as I said... Comments below, love to hear what you got to say. Uh, keep on watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.